For this next project, I want to create a Facebook search interface. Uh, essentially, what I want to be able to do is create my own interface for searching public posts on Facebook. And then uh, the results of that, I want to have custom style the way I want to have them. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a couple of, to do a couple of different things, both functional and stylistic things. Uh, from a functional standpoint, I need to actually get the data. And here's an example of the data that I'm trying to get to my page. Now, this data is JSON data coming from Facebook, and one way to get it into my page is to use jQuery's getJSON function to do that. Now, once I actually have that in my page, I'm going to need to add some structural elements to it. And that's, for example, I'm going to need to add, turn things into images because I have a URL for them here. Uh, I'm going to have to change things into headers, all that kind of stuff. So uh, what I'm saying is that I need to ch uh, convert my JSON data into posh data, which is plain old semantic HTML. And it would look like this. Now, once I have the data poshed up, I guess, <laughs> lack for a better term, um, then I, I could actually style it. And ultimately, the result is going to be this. And I've styled the posh data in a way that resembles what it would look like on Facebook. Now to the left over here, you see an actual result from Facebook. And um, the the light gray, light blue background over there is actually just the background from it, and that's not what I'm trying to represent. I just want to basically mimic as close as possible the actual result element that we have here. And although mine deviates a little bit from the actual one on Facebook, I, I did try to honor the Facebook brand as much as possible in my design. And um, that's what I want to walk you through the actual process of getting this accomplished. There's a couple of things you need to know uh, from how to use JavaScript and get and get JSON. Um, you're gonna need to know how to template data, which is basically convert that JSON into HTML. And then finally from there we need to style all this up with some CSS. So some um, intermediate CSS skills will probably be required as well.